what quadrant or quadrants is theta in, given that the cotangent of theta is less than zero and the secant of theta is less than zero. So if we think about the general definition of trig functions, we'll draw an angle in the third quadrant, but this is completely general for any angle in any quadrant, pick any point on this angle direction line, and then make a right triangle with the perpendicular attached to the horizontal. The hypotenuse is the radius r, side lengths are the coordinates of this point. To get the trig functions of this angle, we come to this angle in the right triangle with vertex at the origin, which is called the reference angle, and do SOHCAHTOA on this triangle. However, we need to be sure that we take into account that these side lengths could be negative. So when is cotangent negative? Cotangent is adjacent over opposite. Cotangent is negative in the second and fourth quadrants. Okay, now when is secant negative? Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. R is always positive, so secant is negative in the second and third quadrants. Therefore, theta must be in the second quadrant.